Hi everyone, welcome to Room Scopes. I'm just adding a little uh, announcement here at the beginning of some of the videos. Others I've worked it in to the actual uh, monthly readings, but um, I've noticed that if I tap, if I'm on a, if my cell phone or a mobile device, if I tap any email address in the details section, like mine is, um, there's some sort of warning that comes up that says that that email address is a phishing site. I apologize if some of you have tapped my email address and gotten that message. Um, I've been going back, I went back and forth with YouTube for days on this and they claim it's not them. However, it does it to me too on my phone. Any email address that I tap on YouTube um, it tells me it's a phishing site or a scam site or something. So um, I don't want to alarm people. Uh, I have no idea what the setting is to change that. Um, like I said, YouTube claims it's not them, but I find it weird that it only happens on their uh, version of the app, but whatever. Um, so for that reason, I don't want to alarm anyone. So I'm going to, uh, in the details section, take the link out, um, just copy uh, you know, my email address and change the word at to the at symbol uh, to email me. That way it's not misleading, it's not scaring anybody um, and uh, telling people that I'm a scammer or some sort of spammer uh, when I have a legitimate business. So again, I apologize to those of you if you've tapped on my email address before to email me and you've got that weird warning. Um, it does seem to only happen on uh, the mobile YouTube app. Uh, on a mobile device or, or a cell phone. So moving forward, I just wanted to let you know about that. So thanks and on to your monthly rune scope. Hi there, my dear Pisceans. Welcome to your June 2015 rune scope with me. My name is Amanda. Just gonna jump right in and cast the runes and see what energies are going to be playing out for Pisces during the month of June. Um, I also want to encourage you all to go back and watch the yearly overview I did for all of the signs. Now can be a good time since we're halfway through the year to see what has transpired and kind of where you are as far as those energies go for the second part of the year as we're getting ready to jump into that. Um, also want to encourage you to watch the video for your rising sign uh, on these monthlies. Also just to clarify some issues and things that um, may be a little bit vague in this sun sign reading. But uh, of course you can always schedule a reading with me for something far more specific and messages only for you. I do readings on Skype. It's $65 for a 30 minute session. Drop me a line at the email address in this video or below this video if you wanna set up an appointment. Um, if you're on a mobile device, just tap the little arrow beneath this video and that will expand the details section. You'll find my email address there. Um, also, there's still a few days to sign up for the rune class. If you wanna do the six week online rune course that I'm offering and learn how to read these for yourself, Drop me a line um, by noon on May 28th. That's the deadline to get signed up for that. So let me know if you want to sign up for that if you haven't already done so. And let's see what we got here, Pisces. So your focus is going to be on A change or disruptive influence and leaving it behind. Now, it's gonna be different for all of you. And I mean, this has come up for a lot of months for Pisces. So, I mean, again, you're all in different phases and that's, with these general readings, that's the way it sometimes plays out. I mean, you know, the same themes will come up for a lot of months because you're all, there are so many of you watching this and you're all moving through them um, at different speeds and at different rates. Uh, and the specifics of every situation is completely different. Um, but yeah, there may have been, I think moving into June, there may have been a disruption already. And this, so this may have occurred in April or May. Uh, around a, a, a male in your life, a, a male energy, somebody who um, was not taking responsibility for their actions, not... Um, living up to expectations in some ways. Pisces, these energies can always work both ways. So maybe this is somebody who feels you weren't doing that, that you dropped the ball on something, you didn't follow through on a promise, or you didn't live up to some sort of expectation in some way. Um, either way, I, I feel like in June, Pisces, you're, you're moving on from this. You are, you know, um, 
somebody may be trying to get to you. <laughs> like they may be trying to start things with you or start arguments with you, start some drama with you. It may be this, this um, masculine energy. Uh, does not have to be a man. It can also be a, a, a female. Uh, or a more masculine female, but yeah, this could be somebody just trying to start drama with you. You've got the four of pentacles uh, as your focus. So you are working on building a foundation for yourself. You are working on, now for some of you, this will be fiscally, this will be financially. You're trying to um, build something stable in the long term. So you are going to be very conservative with your money. Some of you may be more conservative with your time, uh, with your energy with your affection you may be withholding something from someone who doesn't deserve it pisces and you know this doesn't have to be money but it can be so some of you may be leaving a job that's another way this can work and it may come rather unexpectedly i'm sorry to say but i gotta throw it out there because with the hail rune that does mean sudden shake up sudden changes and uh you're kind of forced into a new beginning but with this rune here it means you know you were done with that place anyway uh, it's been time to move on for a while and maybe the universe just had to shake some things up to get you out of there or to get you away from a, a, a negative person, a negative influence, a negative job, a negative situation. Um, so any job that is, that is uh, being left behind in June Pisces is actually a good thing, even though you may not see that on the surface. There's so many things in life we don't, we don't see until a year later or five years later or you know uh sometimes you know they say hindsight's 2020 that's a saying for a reason it really is true um but yeah definitely be conservative with your spending in june maybe you had an expensive may pisces or maybe you you know there is this shake up and now you're like well i have to cancel some plans because i'm gonna have to find a new job so i'm gonna have to you know not be able to take that vacation or i'm not gonna be able to buy that car or you know i'm gonna have to move to a place that's cheaper you know you may be looking around in june to to for ways to budget and conserve your money pisces generally and this is just generally because I have known some very uh, budget conscious Pisces. You hate looking at that stuff, like doing the bills and figuring out a budget and um, not being able to just buy the cool things that you want to get. I, you, you really hate that sort of thing. But for June, it may be necessary uh, because, you know, just for you to feel more stable and, and a little bit safer uh, regarding your financial situation. Uh, and I think you'll be able to do that, most of you. Now, I do feel like your financial situation will look better by the second half of June. So if the first half of June is a little wonky, um, if things are going to improve. Uh, so maybe you, you know, because we have Mercury turning direct on the 11th of June. So yeah, it may be a little crazy <laughs> until uh, Mercury gets going, uh, moving forward again. You know, if you're looking for a job, you may not be finding a lot of opportunities. You may feel like, oh, I'm gonna have to settle for something that I don't wanna do or go back to doing something I don't, I don't like. Um, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't make any solid decisions if you can avoid it until at least mid-June, Pisces. Because, um, yeah, anytime you sign on to something new during a retrograde, a Mercury retrograde, it can mean that you'll have to redo it later or the job won't work out or you're not going to stay there very long anyway. So yeah, just be conscious of that. Um, Pisces, you also have the Queen of Swords coming up here for things and events that are going to be playing out in June. So the Queen of Swords is somebody who is very... Uh, She's very analytical. She's very logical. She's very, um, she can be very blunt, straight to the point. She, she delivers truth. She's definitely someone who, I mean, she's that person that will just lay it out there. You know, at people, you maybe like at a party, people are dancing around a topic and she'll just be like, look, here's how it is. And she'll just kind of, uh, you know, break it uh, to someone. Um, you know, she doesn't try to hurt people's feelings, but she does occasionally, unintentionally. Um, she just feels like she's telling the truth and that that's how you forge honest, you know, she likes honest relationships. She wants people to give the same back to her. She's not sensitive 
Um, you know, it takes quite a lot to hurt her feelings. So, I, but she doesn't realize that not everyone is that way. So this may be somebody who hurts your feelings um, or hurts you in some way, uh, Pisces, in June, but it's not her intention. She's just not, she's not seeing, th able to see things from your viewpoint because she doesn't feel in the same way that you feel or she doesn't feel as strongly as you feel. Again, you're a water sign, so um, your feelings are always just there uh, beneath the surface. Um, but I, I, I think this is a person who you value, who you do care about. This could be your boss, some of you. Some of you, this may be someone you interview with. And she just really kind of um, says, well, you don't have enough education for this, or you don't have the right degree for this. So it may be hard to hear, but maybe this is the impetus to push you on and, and, and get you to, well, I'm going to go out and get that degree. <laughs> or, well, you know what? I'm going to, you know, I don't need to work here anyway. I'm going to go to this other place. Something that she says may push you in the right direction or push you in a divine direction. Um, you know, maybe you shouldn't be interviewing at this place anyway because you're meant to be at this job over here. So, yeah, there's something about the Queen of Swords in June. Some of you Pisces may need to become the Queen of Swords and take on her traits. You may need to um, kind of lay out the truth from your perspective, the, the way that it is. Um, and this may be something that you have been hiding. This may be something that you um, have been delaying telling someone because you knew they wouldn't approve or you knew they wouldn't uh, like this, wouldn't agree with this. Um, so you've been just kind of keeping it to yourself, but uh, you know you may feel in June that it just needs to come out, and um, it may cause a bit of a ripple effect. Uh, whatever comes out in June, it's the truth with the Queen of Swords here, and uh, but sometimes it's the ugly truth. That's another saying <laughs> that's popular. The ugly truth uh, may come out, but it's necessary in, in order in order to make accurate. Uh, informed decisions. We need the truth. We need the hairy details, uh, no matter what they are. Um, some of you may be working on something that has to do with communication. You may be looking for a job in communications, or you may be um, w working on writing, or broadcasting, or or you know doing something like that. You may be looking to break into that, um, and. Uh, you may be not telling anybody for a while because you don't want, you know, because people may say, oh, well, that's a pipe dream or, or you can't just change careers right now. And you're not really wanting to hear the chitter chatter from others. Now, let's see what help is going to be available to you in June, Pisces, because this is a very interesting reading. You have the Ace of Swords in, in reverse, and then you have Feu and Othel uh, Merkstave. So there, yeah, again, this is just kind of reinforcing, like wh whatever doesn't work out monetarily is going to be, um, it's because you're, you belong elsewhere. Now, some of you, this may be around family. There may be some sort of disappointment, some sort of um, deception going on around family um, to do with money or, or to do with an estate, a will, or uh, something like that. There, there may be something like that going on, but it's like you're gonna catch whoever's doing that. If it's you, Pisces, you could be caught if you're trying to deceive someone or, or do something behind someone's back. So just be aware of that. I don't think a lot of you are, but you may be dealing with someone who is trying to do that, trying to swindle someone else. Um, it will come out in June. I, I think this information has not been very carefully hidden. Pisces. Those of you who have a home-based business may find that something didn't pan out as you hoped or, or maybe, you know, th there may be something coming up with the house that is causing a problem, that is going to be a large expense. Um, but this is a catalyst to, to get you to move, some of you, to get you to move to a new location. This, this may be a catalyst to get you to um, start looking for real estate uh, in, in other areas. Uh, so there may be disruption around your property, something going on with the house, and you're like, man, rather than fix that, I'm just going to get out of here. I'm just going to move. 
<laughs> but um, yeah, there may be some sort of disruption around the home front, Pisces, but it's coming up as a help. So it's going to work out in the positive. Some of you may be worrying that something's going to happen because the Ace of Swords can also mean, you know, just going on in your mind. Oh my God, I don't, I don't want that workman to come because I know there's a leak and it's probably really bad and they're going to say I need a new roof. I, I feel like if that's the case, Pisces, it's not going to be as bad as you're thinking. You're building it up in your mind to be worse than it is. Um, so yeah, just, just keep that in mind. For, uh, you know the things around the home aren't as bad as they seem uh, and anyone who's trying to deceive you uh, around family issues or estate issues money possessions things like that the truth will uh, come out um, and actually you may be hearing that someone is getting ready to lose their house or that they've they've they, they can't work on their house anymore because they've sunk too much in it and um, this is actually they're gonna get out of it and you're excited about that. So yeah, this could be something going on with someone in the family that they have to move or, and you're glad because they bought like a really bad house or you, when you first heard of it, you were like, oh, that's a money pit. Yeah, you need to get out of there. <laughs> um, Pisces, I think this also may be coming up because with this paired with these money rooms up here, somebody may be coming to you for money and this may be somebody who hasn't treated you the best. So, Definitely, you don't, and you don't have it to loan. You, you really just don't have it to loan in June. Um, you've got things that you need to do on your, on your own home, or, or you have plans for your money. And um, so, yeah, definitely don't, uh, don't be loaning any money in June. Just, just say, no, I don't have it. I really don't have it. Because um, you don't. You need to conserve your money in June. What can't be changed? about June. Again, we have another pentacle. So King of Pentacles coming up in reverse is someone who's not good with money. First and foremost, usually an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, and it's unusual for them to be bad with money. But yeah, this could be somebody who blows money or they just make very poor money decisions. He can be a greedy sort. This is the boss that will cut all corners and treat his employees very badly to, uh, you know, so that he gets to take home all that extra money. For, for himself. Um, so yeah, some of you, this may be this job you're leaving behind and it's a good thing because this guy's a miser. You need to get away from this guy. And I don't know that he's going to be in business very long because he's not managing his money very well. Uh, so um, yeah, there's definitely a lot of uh, karma around that situation with Yera. So this may be a job that you've been at about a year or it may have been, um, maybe this guy came in about a year ago and it's really, a, you've noticed a difference and it's no longer a place that you want to be. And it's time for you to, to kind of uh, get out of there. Those of you who have any legal stuff coming up, this could be, this could indicate that uh, you know somebody's trying to take advantage of you, take money that doesn't belong to them. This can kind of go back to this. Somebody trying to cause you a financial loss or take money that does not belong to them from you and you don't have it either. So, um, and if you do, you're, you're using it to build stability or you're using it to build for yourself and you can't be giving it away. So, um, yeah, definitely those of you who are involved in legal cases and things, somebody may be trying to, to um, swindle you in, or, or take something that doesn't belong to you. That's where your truth telling is going to, that's where your truth telling is going to come into play and be like, no, we're, we're putting a stop to that. Some of you, this may be your lawyer, this queen of swords. Um, because the swords people often are lawyers. So, um, yeah, she may be like, you know what? We're going to expose this creep and all the, all his lies, all this stuff he's trying to do to take advantage. Um, you have the ace of cups in reverse with need here as the, the result. So, um, the month may end on you just feeling emotionally drained. You know, your cup is overturned. Uh, there's just been a lot that's been going on and I feel like it's you, they're showing me you kind of um, hitting balls like this, you know? I don't know, have you seen that in the medieval times where they'd hold those sticks and just kind of fight like that? I'm sorry, I know. I know it wasn't just sticks. <laughs> but yeah, I kind of see you like fighting off in June, all these things kind of being hurled at you from one particular situation. And just by the end of the month, you're like, man, I'm going to have to take a 40 weekend and just recoup 
from this because um, it's not so much physically draining, but emotionally uh, draining. Uh, just a lot going on, having to use a lot of your mental capacities, um, you know, having to uh, defend things that you shouldn't have to defend, like your own money. Like, I don't have, I can't, you know, I work hard for my money, I don't have it to give to you. Or, you know, you may just feel drained from looking for work. Um, you know, so June may be a month where at the end you haven't found that right opportunity, Pisces, but for those of you who are job hunting, just hang in there. Uh, July will most likely be a better month. And just keep your wits about you. And keep your money. Keep your money for you. So that's what I see for June Pisces. Good luck with that, and I'll see you back here in July.